so the Frenchman just got out of this hole in the sidewalk. And forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, salut, it's Alex. We have many things to do today, so we are gonna make some kitchen tools with an amazing handyman. I've got also a few surprises along the day, but first off, I just realized I did not make any room tour yet, so let's fix that. Room tour. Much too quick. The question is, have I learned anything about life? Salute, salute. So we are currently in the Lower East Side, it's an old district in New York, in Manhattan and the guy we're gonna see is a, is a special one. He's not in the food world, he's not in the chef world, not in the cook world. That guy has a workshop under the sidewalk, so everything happens underground. So I told you this is gonna be a bit weird, but this is the entrance of my friend's shop. So I just went down this uh, workshop, underground workshop, and here is the man, Hi. Jimmy DeBresta. Hello everybody. Salute. What do you do for a living, man? I make things. So basically, the idea Jimmy had, which I absolutely love, is to make... <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'll so go it's, 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 it's to make a tool uh, to cut pizza. And the idea is to make it uh, by sticking or stitching or welding or welding two sews together. I meant what we Solo's open. <laughs> we just finished the pizza cutter, and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look for pizzas, man, and test if that works. I'm sure that works. That's an essential part of about life. Full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness. I've got a special pizza delivery. Two large pies. I call this the pizza camp. Visit New York on a pizza pie. Already got a stain on my shirt. I need to go in there. Question is, can I do this without killing myself? Well, somebody is gonna find out anyway. Let's do this slowly. Fuck it. <laughs> No, 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 don't wish me that. Do not wish me that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I did it. Better. Tastes better cut with this knife, of right? Of course. It brings people around the table. Everybody wants to have it. They're having a good time. It's about sharing. It's mm. funny. It brings people together. Of course, man. <laughs> So that pizza cutter is simply genius and I absolutely love it. You know guys, food is about sharing. So he made me a gift. I must make the guy a gift. So basically right now, I'm taking orders. I want to make a Di Resta pizza. You can call me a garçon. So your flavors, tell me again. Oh, are we rolling? You like, uh, you want all meat? Wait, wait, the, the three horsemen of the pizza. <laughs> Pepperoni, sausage and meatball. Cheese? Cheese, yes. Spice? Yeah. <gasps> Can you make pizza with bologna on it? Bologna ball. What's, what bo what's bologna? A what's bologna? Ball. Don't want to know. <laughs> what's bologna? <laughs> no vegetables to screw up the texture. You know I'm a big vegetable eater. Right, not me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like tomato or not tomato sauce? No, no, smooth, smooth sauce. Pure smooth sauce. A puree. Pure red base. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. And he Do you like basil? <clears throat> a little bit. Oh. No. <laughs> no, you don't like basil. <laughs> Grind up fine. Nobody likes a little bit basil. I like it in the sauce and then when the sauce is up I take it, throw it away. Oh, okay. 
put and then, the basil inside of the <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that the, the ideal pizza for you is just meat on barbecue. <laughs> At the end, just to freshen the pizza, I suggest maybe sprinkle it with bacon bits. You oh, know? that's good. Yeah, yeah. A like shredding that. of beef, raw beef everywhere. Maybe a beef crust. Just everything beef. I will just, you know, cut a slab of beef Shringy and call it the, the restas. You know what I like? I like, uh, like whenever I go get inside. steak, people get get mad at me because I say, you know, when you get like, uh, uh, what is the fancy steak everybody gets? The filet mignon. Ah, yeah. oh, that's the worst one. So I get the filet mignon, but it's like this, and and I have them cut it in half, split it, so it cooks inside, and then mm. I like the peppercorn sauce. See, he's mad at me for overcooking it. No, yeah, of course you're overcooking it. <laughs> I growled. don't care. He groaned a little. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you eat whatever you want, I eat whatever I want, no problem. Taylor will come to Paris, we'll make something in your shop. Ten, Just ten. like we designed this together, we'll, we'll design uh, a, dish. a piece of food or something together. Oh, anytime, man. You're, well, like you're welcome in Paris, anytime. Uh, that would be a pleasure to have you in the shop. Also, I, uh, I got lots of chefs to be fixed, so you, you oh, good, can no. you hurry up? I'll bring my screw gun. <laughs> <laughs> if I come to Paris and you say, I made your pizza, but behind the scenes you ordered a meat lover's pizza from Domino's, uh -huh. and I taste it, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing! <laughs> this is our pizza cutter wrapped up for the TSA going to Paris. We hope that somebody is either a Duresta fan and not a Duresta hater. Wish me luck, Jimmy. I think you'll be good. I put my logo on there. See you! Pleasure! Bye bye! Salut! Au revoir! Salut! And so was made the pizza cutter yeah that guy is such a nice guy we really had a good time like making this pizza cutter i will post the link in the video and also uh, in the description so that you guys can check out his channel he's got so many amazing videos of course it's not about food but it's more about making you know a cook is nothing but a food maker <laughs> So guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the New York vlog. Uh, if you did, give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over your social media. You know the deal. Spread it like butter or more like maybe a pizza sauce in this case. If you do love pizza, there's another episode, maybe just the third or the fourth uh, of the New York vlog, which is about the specifics and the characteristics of the New York style pizza. Give it a watch. Or if you want something completely different then maybe you can watch my uh, brioche bread better recipe uh, where I teach you how to make fluffy delicious buttery uh, yellow delight yellow is not very appetizing but <laughs> that's the only word that came to my mind damn it and last guys keep your eyes peeled because this very Sunday is coming to my channel uh, the rest as Pizza uh, Meat Lover Edition, uh, now you know the guy. And it's gonna be episode number 12 of the Pizza Odyssey. So you know guys, subscribe to the channel because I make new videos on Sunday and Wednesday and it's always about sharing the love and sharing my food adventures with you and also sometimes about introducing you to people I like. Take care guys, bye bye, salut.